Once upon a time, there were evil people in the world who did dastardly evil and grotesque things to their fellow human beings. They will rot in hell forever for their crimes, and if there is any quantum or scintilla of justice remaining in this world, you and me and all of us who love peace, prosperity, freedom, and our fellow human beings will have a part in their defeat and perhaps even a hand in the takedown and eradication of this evil from the face of the earth. Hi folks, and Scooby-Doo, and welcome to my video. I've got a message here to share. Um, my intro was a pretty strong message there. It's a little bit ironic considering a person who uh, did the voiceover. Well, this is the guy who did the voiceover for my intro. Uh, it's Net for Truth USA. I'm on his web page here, and uh, he, he's like, you know, a patriot type of person. You know, he, he's anti-government. He's a Trump supporter. Blah blah blah, and all the rest. Of it. I mean, he has a whole list of, of interesting things on this website that uh, you can look down at. Here's one, Amber Alert. And this. Is giving you uh, information about Amber Alert, etc. Go down on down the page, uh, and here we see oh, child net safety, and uh, oh, the internet is a two-edged sword, and he given he's given advice to uh, you know parents, etc. about net safety for children. Uh, I also see a link here that'll open. I'm not sure what it goes to. Child abuse and sex cases. Okay. Please read, dear readers. Do not be fooled by the state sponsored propaganda and generalized profiles about sex abuse and sex crimes running rampant in the USA. It is about time that someone spoke out against the hordes of government goons that elicited false allegations from children and violate the constitutional rights of falsely accused in order to attain a conviction of illicit in a plea. Mm, that's interesting. If as a defendant the evidence that proves your innocence beyond any doubt whatsoever is not allowed in court, and a made up confession is with your signature forged on it, scanned in the JPEG and pasted on the MS Word or printed with a HP 500 inkjet printer is allowed into the evidence, what chance do you or I have? I wonder where he's coming from from here. I mean, is he speaking from experience? Hmm. One often learns too late that the reality is the fa false allegations of child abuse is all about money and greed, and sometimes it's about selling marketable children to foster car. Blah 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 blah. Well, you know, you know, this is interesting. Like, you know, if someone you someone. If you are someone who was forced, coerced, or coached into making false allegations of abuse as a child, and you don't know who to talk to, please contact this ministry. So he wants you to contact this ministry, him. Um, let's go back to home. Regress restoration, veterans for constitutional law. So as you can see, if we go down here, there is like a long list of different messages and blah blah blah. It's a pre I tell you what, there's a lot of content in it. It's uh, a lot of time and effort has went into this page, and again, I find it. Pretty ironic. Uh, we'll also go to his YouTube page. Uh, this is this is one of his videos, and here you can see he has a GoFundMe, his Patreon, his PayPal, buy us some coffee, whatever that is, coffee, I suppose. I don't know. So if you look at his GoFundMe fundraiser, he has got three thousand dollars of a hundred thousand gold in the last eighteen months, and he's getting donations: hundred dollars, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, 
150, 100, 100. That's a lot of money. Um, I'm wondering, do people know who this guy is? I mean, obviously, they've seen his weird page. You know, they know he's all about patriotism and veterans and, you know, promoting child safety and all the rest of it. And, uh, so, I was curious who this guy was, and I've done a little search, web search. Here it is, Dave Torishini, convicted sex offender. Now you're asking me, well why would anybody search that up? And I'm going to tell you why. Over the last week or so, it has come to the attention of people in the, you know, truth community, as people like to call it, that uh, there is, in fact, people who have infiltrated the community who are actual sex offenders. Um, some of them are convicted, and some of them are not. One of them, Mr. Gunk, slash fully sourced YouTube channel. He... Uh, was having explicit text messages with a 15 year old girl. He admitted this. Uh, he's been reported to the authorities and hopefully something will come of that pretty soon. But people we need to be aware, again, this person, Gunk, fully sourced, is a Pizzagate investigator. He, he uh, does Pizzagate videos, etc. Uh, fighting against paedophilia and the government, blah de blah de blah. So, this name, this wet, this name came up, and I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to take anybody's word for it. I can't. That would be foolish. You have to do the research yourself because everybody kind of puts stuff up. They can edit. They can do this, that, this, that, this. So I thought to myself, right, I'll do a video and it will be unedited to a point uh, where this is all recorded continuously here. And uh, I'll show the evidence that I found on the internet. Now, various channels did know about this. Honeybee knew about this guy. She knew he was a convicted sex offender. She knows what he's promoting on YouTube. She knows, he, you know, all of this, and uh, she said nothing. This is a girl who promoted or, or you know, staged uh, a march in, I think it was in Boston for Our Children Matter, something like that. And uh, yet, here she is, knowingly, you know, knowing that there is a convicted paedophile infiltrating the. Uh, Drift community posting about kids and all the rest of it. Uh, it, it just it stinks. It stinks to high heaven, and it makes me feel that people are scared to speak out actual truth because this guy here he can strike me, he can strike my channel, I can lose my channel whenever this goes up. Blah blah blah. His fans can flag me, the cows come home, etc. But I don't care. Because I'm not doing this for money, I'm not doing it, you know, I've no Patreon, I've no PayPal, there's no GoFundMe, I'm not monetized, I have no interest in anything else. In fact, I'm not even a content creator, this is my first video. Um, basically, what I'm, in, I'm concerned with is this guy is let loose in the truth community, he's been funded, you know, he's receiving hundreds, thousands of dollars, and, you know, I think it's up these people, I doubt they would donate to him if they were aware who he really is. He certainly doesn't tell you who he is. Uh, and yet, you know, whenever you move in an area, you can go to a police station legally and you can ask, is there any uh, sex offenders in the area? And you will be given the details of sex offenders, who they are, photographs, what they look like, what their crimes were and what risk they are because there's several different levels, but we'll get that. So what I'm doing here is basically trying to save people in trouble because the internet isn't, you know, a physical place. And people run into each other, they communicate with each other, 
get friendly with each other, support each other. And I feel that the support this guy is getting, he would not get from his subscribers. Because who would want to give money to a paedophile? Especially with this guy's crime mess. So here we are, folks. This is him. This is our friend, you know, David Tarashini. Uh, he's a risk level three sex offender. And I had no idea what that was, so I had to do a bit of research to find out who it was. And yeah, so now unfortunately, I, this guy's address is further on down the page and I don't want to post his address because I don't want to be accused of doxing anybody. I mean, I suppose to an extent he's entitled to some sort of privacy, although I don't think so personally. But again, I don't want to be accused of doxing anybody. If anybody watching this video is in the New York State area, I advise you to, and lives there, I advise you to look this guy up and find out where he lives because if he's living near you, you should know about him. So unfortunately I am going to have to pause this video every second until I scroll down the page past his address. Hold on. Okay folks, sorry about that slight interruption. But uh, here we are, law enforcement agency having jurisdiction, New Jersey State Police, sex offender registry. Uh, Data crime, 96, convicted 1989, victim, a male, 8 years old, an 8 year old little boy. Arrest and agency, uh, violent crime analysis, blah blah, New York, I suppose, the police. Uh, offense description, sexual intercourse, deviate sexual intercourse, sexual contact, promoting, possessing, sexual performance, bad child. Uh, now, deviate sexual intercourse. That's just fucking shit, man. Release into ship to victim, non weapon use, non force use, coercion, computer use, no pornography, pornography use, no. He did uh, 28 months to seven years in the state prison, which is that but like oh, this guy should be locked up in life. Taking the, I need your little boy, eight year old little boy, and doing what he done, that's just disgusting. Uh, yeah. So here we have it. That's him in this part, this is his crime, this is what he done, this is when it is. Now, again, I want to tell you, level three sex offenders, I didn't know what it was, so I had to Google it. So here it is. We'll start off at level one. Level one, sex offenders have a low risk of reoffending, pose a low degree of danger to the public. That's possibly what uh, Mr. Gunk would be, but who knows, because I'm not a judge. Uh, level two, have a moderate risk of reoffending, pose a moderate degree of danger to the public. And level three, have a high risk of reoffending and pose a high degree of danger to the public. Information about level three offenders is publicly available. You can get this information through local police departments and through the online registry. So for folks, what I'm telling you now is public information. It's easy to be seen and find if you do the research and look it up. This guy is a level three sex offender. He is a high risk of reoffending, and he poses a high degree of danger to the public. And channels like Honey Bee know this, knew this, and said nothing. They just happily go about in their little pizza gate world, asking for money, to promote their agenda, and move on. And you've got people like uh, Oji Wan Kenobi who are exposing this man. People like fucking Freddy who are exposing this man. And here's myself now. 
who has never made a video before and I feel it's got that point now where somebody has to say something. So this is it. This guy is a serious threat to children. He is a serious threat to the public. He is on YouTube. He has got 1.6k subscribers. He's got 19 Patreons. And he's doing a fundraiser for $100,000. What the hell does he want? And I see every one of these people that are on Patreon. Obviously, I can't check the anonymous ones out, but the ones have their names. I'm going to be looking into these names. I'm going to find out who they are. I'm going to find out what type of flipping crap they've got going on in their life. Because if they know who this guy is, is that why they're donating? I don't know. These people are all likely oblivious anyway. There's probably nothing to it, but they're donating this guy because they believe in what he's promoting on YouTube. They believe this truth. And unfortunately, folks, this guy is a dangerous threat to the public and children alike. And this information is publicly known to everybody and available. You just have to look. So I am serving a public message here, basically. Well, folks, that's the end of my little video. I believe now you will see the irony on the opening uh, message, the opening credits, because those credit, that voiceover is David Todashini, Todashini, whatever. I don't care. He's a filthy sick bastard. And he needs needs to get off YouTube. He needs to be flipping uh, left alone, ignored, not promoted. The people who do know of him need to stand up. This is not what we want. If this guy was next door to your children, how would you feel? Uh, well, that's how I feel. And this guy needs to go. So folks, thank you very much for watching my little video and I hope you take notice and I hope you do something. I hope if you're subscribed, you unsubscribe. I hope that if you have uh, donated to this GoFundMe that you will cancel that donation and ask for it to be returned. This guy is a sick motherfucker and it's time to get him fucking off our fucking YouTube. Cheerio. Scooby-Doo out.